Bye. You ready? I'm not ready. I've come down the box. What's up, beautiful people? We have just been dropped off by Hannah's grandparents in Pontresina. We drove alongside the train. It was so cool to so see. So nice. And it is a glorious day here in Pontresina. This chairlift's actually a bit odd because it goes at a right angle. We're about to go round the corner. <laughs> so it's about a third of the way up on this chairlift and then we're going to climb up to Pitts Languard. Are you ready? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was fun. Got pulled off. He like grabbed me. He was like, move. Off you go. Right, so we're here at Alp Langard. Look. Stein this is what we want to see. And these marmots. Steinbeck. Like chipmunks. Marmots. So we're going to be going basically straight yeah. up here. Hello. This is the aim. This is going to be a steep one. Yeah, another, what does it say? 900 and something meters up. Yeah, that's right. The scenery is just beyond stunning. When we're on the chairlift, we could see like little paths. We could see the actual pathway up, which looked pretty steep. It like was winding through the woods. And then we could also see some ski runs, which I'm sure I've skied down before. And you've been here with family. Yeah, in the winter. As we saw on the map, there's the opportunity to see some of the like Steinbock with the huge horns. And we actually heard a marmot, which I've never like, seen. Ooh, ooh. What are they like, did you say? Like a little... Yeah, a little like, almost like a beaver. And we could hear their call, which was like... Ooh, 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 ooh. Sounded like an owl. <laughs> yeah. So we're hoping that we're also gonna get the chance to see some very good wildlife today. All of the wildflowers. Even more than yesterday, Han. Loads more. got glacier views just over here. Absolutely incredible. I think my parents have skied on that because there's a couple of glaciers here where you can ski on the very top even in the summer. I think they, yeah, they skied there on their honeymoon so it would have been in July. Can you imagine? Over there? Yeah, skiing in July. That's and, later in the year than right now. Than right now, crazy, right? Down here in the, in the very distance, you can see a lake and all the buildings around it. That down there is San Moritz, where we're staying. We've got a fair way to go up here, but... Feeling good. I'm feeling good. How's it taste? Mm. So cold. Is that it cold? Is Let me try some. Mmm. That is so good. That mountain water. That is so fresh. Yes, please. Mmm. -mm. Mm. PPB. Perfectly placed bench up ahead. We're at about 2675 and we've got to get up to 3206. what makes the rivers so like light and blue it's is the that crystals. the rocks have a crystal in them and then as the water goes over them it like joins the river stream so that's what makes it the nice glacial colour
All these different wildflowers on the mountain. These fuzzy red ones, got the pink ones, blues, yellows, whites. You can just see the cabin, or the restaurant area is just up here, so that's it's just below the summit. Feels like we're doing well. 750 meters of elevation going. Two hours 45, 4.7 kilometers. We made it. Hello. Hey. We made it. We made it. Mountain after mountain after mountain. Been refueled by a nonna sandwich. And now it's time, can you see? There's like another 60 meters to get right to the peak up here. Hannah's feeling the altitude a little bit, so she's gonna stay down at this lovely little rest stop. This is actually a restaurant, but it's shut right now. And I'm gonna have a little look at how difficult it looks to get to the top. If it looks too hairy, I might not do it either. That's good. Looks like we got a rope to hold for the way up. Right then, time for the ascent. Get around here. Hannah's just looked at the radar, says that there should be um, rain coming in. Rain coming in, some pretty torrential storms, so we gotta scoot, scoot down and off this mountain. Got the grey clouds. Fingers crossed we get down without any rain. Um, We've also seen no wildlife. I wanted to see those Steinbock with the... With the horns. The big old horns. Hopefully we can do another walk where we see some marmots and some Steinbock. They are all hiding today away from the heat, I think. This guy is very happy. He's got his zoom lens out. And there's a marmot just down there, chilling on a rock. We're so pleased. Just having a little look out. Just having a little chill. Just chilling in the mountains. Yeah, we're super happy because oh, we hadn't so seen cool. we hadn't seen any wildlife yet, and now we've just seen three. That so is perfect. Woo! Let's continue the run. Ah, thank you. Bye. Bye. My hat is going to blow hot. I know, I need to hold it on. <laughs> I was smart and put my coat on. <laughs> Back down now, the rain came in a little bit hard on the uh, chairlift on the way down. I was glad to have my coat on and my, my, my little coat for my bag as well. If you've enjoyed this video, please do check out some of our other videos. We'll have some more 
from Switzerland coming very soon. Hit that subscribe if you want to see more. Ding. And thank you so much for watching. Big love. And it feels good, good around, around here. Jeez. Oh. These mountain goats so over spooky. here. So oh, agile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>